Just a short drive down the main drag of Suo-Oshima is Power Beach, easily the most popular restaurant on the island. Featuring American and Hawaiian cuisine on the beautiful cliffside Zakuka, it has a view that's to die for and easy beach access that is wildly popular with families. It's the blue building off the side of the road, so you can't miss it! This place has a pretty extensive menu. If you're looking for burgers, really great burgers here. So they have a set of burger menus. They even have plate lunches, for example, the garlic shrimp plate lunch. And also an assortment of like milkshakes, cocktails, mocktails, shaved ice drinks, and pretty much anything that you could want. Plus it has a family friendly atmosphere. So if you have kids, I'm sure they're gonna wanna hit the beach after they eat. It's definitely a good place to eat and play. So on the table here, the chef has brought out some things that he personally recommends, especially for this season. Um, right now, they are serving a acai bowl, which is um, it's kind of like a fruit-based parfait. This is only available um, in the later afternoon from like 1.30 to 3.30, so it's a limited run item. Uh, of the day and then also he recommended that we try the honey herb soda and this looks fabulous it even has edible flowers on the top <laughs> really pretty and then of course you gotta have the double beach burger which is this right here and i think we're all really looking forward to sinking our teeth into this hi okay i'm gonna give this honey herb soda a try because it's really Fancy looking, it's got like a lavender in it and everything, so. Ooh. It's refreshing, very refreshing. I would say it's akin to like um like a spiced lemonade. So yeah, definitely tastes um herby. <laughs> But in a good way, I actually really like it. It's refreshing. I think, especially in hot weather, this would be really nice. So, this burger is hot, so I'm gonna let it cool off. In the meantime, I am gonna try this. This is really interesting. It's like a fruit and yogurt parfait with a sai berry sauce and like coconut flakes. I've seen this on their menu, but I've just never tried it myself since. It's really good. <laughs> I'd almost say that this is more like a dessert item, but there's like nothing bad in here, so it's all fruit. Fruit, a side sauce, and then granola, so this is good for any meal, pretty much. Yeah. It could be a dessert, but since it's healthy, it's like I guess it's my duty to take the first bite, but this is so big, I'm not sure how to get it in my mouth. It's actually kind of hot too, so... Oh man, it's got bacon in it. Oh, they know my weakness. Okay, let's see. Ah. That's a burger. Mm. Oh my god. That's delicious. No complaints here, it's a good burger. <laughs> macaroni. It's a bit good macaroni salad. Put <laughs> 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 right. bacon in it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she got the bacon. <laughs> this cute beachside shack has a casual bohemian atmosphere complete with surfer deco. The ocean looks so inviting from this vantage point and so clean. I'm checking out the dessert menu and they have a lot of different things. Um, they do have like shaved ice drinks if you prefer that over ice cream but the soft serve ice cream here is actually really good and um, 
they have all these different kind of like specialty soft serve cones you can get, like the Rocky Road or the Hawaii Peak Cadillac. I had that last time. That was really nice. Yeah, Hawaii oh, really love. And actually, something that's really popular is the churro sundae. So you get the soft serve ice cream with caramel sauce and then a churro to dip it in. And actually, this is really good. <laughs> One of my favorites here. That was a delicious lunch, but it's not complete unless you have dessert. So I went ahead and I chose one of their ice cream cones. So they, this is the uh, Marshmallow Cookie Choco ice cream cone. <laughs> really decadent. But of course it's going to be delicious. And this finishes off a nice day. And so we're going to take this down to the beach, which is right in front of the restaurant, and then enjoy it from there. So let's go. Kids can't wait to get into the water. This is a very popular swim spot in the summer months. My ice cream is melting, but it's okay because I'm on the beach, so I don't freak out about it. Just enjoy. I'm halfway tempted to jump in there myself with the ice cream. <laughs> That meal was absolutely delicious and really filling, so I don't know how I'm not bursting out of my dress right now. <laughs> the ice cream was delicious, the burger was perfect, the acai bowl, surprisingly, because I've never had it before, was really good. So I wasn't um, sure what to expect from it, but uh, definitely tasty and can definitely recommend it. The owner of this restaurant, he has been to America and he uh, formulated his menu based on what he saw in America. So if you are missing a little bit of taste of uh, home, say you're a foreigner like me and you're in the area and you're really having a hankering for burger fries or loco moco, then this is definitely the place you gotta come. It is probably the most recommended family-esque type cafe on the island and you can't beat the view. So not only are you gonna get delicious food, but after you're done, or maybe before, you can have a jump in the ocean here, have a little play around, and then go and enjoy some American cuisine. <laughs> Thank you for watching our video today. If you like what you've seen and you wanna see more, then please do subscribe and give us a like or a comment or a question. We're happy to answer anything that comes our way. And we're, we are going to have many more videos coming, especially now that we're in summer. We're uh, able to get out a little bit more and enjoy the weather. And there's a lot of new shops opening up on the island, so we're excited to share it with y'all. Until next time, we will see you on our next adventure. Bye-bye.